Hello and welcome to Optin Monster. In this video, we'll teach you how to deliver a downloadable file to your subscribers. Before we start, make sure to upload the file you wish to provide to a remote server since Optin Monster does not host files. One option is to email the downloadable file via your email marketing service provider. Start by creating your campaign from the Optin Monster dashboard, select a template that fits your design needs, name your campaign, and start building. Next, you can completely customize your campaign according to the downloadable file you'll be delivering. Here we wrote, get our free content upgrade checklist and grow your conversions with this helpful resource. We'll edit the submit button to say, get my checklist, and we'll need to edit the action to go to the success view upon conversion. So make sure in the drop down it says go to a view and that it goes to the success view. Next, we'll need to edit the success view so that your subscribers will know to check their email for their downloadable file. For example, we wrote, your checklist is in your inbox. Please check your email for your content upgrade checklist. Next, in display rules, we'll decide when our campaign will show to our website visitors, such as upon exit intent, we can change the current URL path to contain blog so that the campaign only shows on our blog posts. Make sure to show the opt-in view and in the summary, confirm everything's correct. Next in the integrations tab, we'll add our email marketing service provider and make sure to take note of which list you'll be adding these new subscribers to. Make sure to save your changes as you go. And next we'll go to the analytics tab so we can connect our campaign to our Google Analytics so we can track conversions. Finally, we'll go to the publish tab and toggle from paused to live to make sure the campaign is live on our site. In this tutorial, I'll show you MailChimp's procedures, but this may vary depending on your email marketing service provider. In your email marketing service provider, you'll need to create an email that will be sent out automatically to those who sign up for your downloadable file. You'll then need to configure the email to be sent out to those who are newly added to this list. Again, this will vary depending on your email marketing service provider. Finally, in your email design, you'll need to make sure to include the link to the downloadable file you'll be providing to your new email subscribers. In this way, you'll be delivering your downloadable file automatically to your new email subscribers via your Optin Monster campaign. The next method is to use our native integrations with success actions. The first option would be to include a download button under the success view. So in the success tab, edit your success message to indicate that new subscribers can download the downloadable file simply by clicking on the button. To add the button, you'll need to drag and drop the button element onto your success view. Make any adjustments you might need, like adding in a spacer. Next, we'll click on the button to edit the button's action and make sure that it redirects to a URL. And here, we'll make sure the button redirects to the download location where we've stored our downloadable file. As always, make sure to save. A second option with native integrations is for a conversion at the opt-in view to be redirected straight to your downloadable file. So edit the button action to redirect to a URL and paste in the download location where you'll be delivering your downloadable file. As always, make sure to save. The final option involves our custom HTML integration. For custom HTML integrations, you can use the JavaScript events API to automate the download process. A prerequisite for this is that your custom HTML campaign must register a conversion. You can then place the code in the custom HTML box on your campaign or directly on your site. If you have any questions, please look through our helpful documentation. And for further assistance, you can always submit a support ticket and we'll be more than happy to help.